What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G-Miles World, and we're going to be talking more about Trevon LeBlanc. Like, this dude right here, like, listen, the dude is mad small, but he just makes plays. And one of the weirdest things that we discovered later on in the game, right, you know, covering a corner route one-on-one -on -one is probably, I would say, near to impossible throughout the entirety of Madden 20 once people figured out that you could just roll outside the pocket and just throw the ball anywhere. Uh, it became a situation where it was really, really wild. Now, for those of you guys that are asking about it, like, you know, going into 21, will it still be OP? I don't really think so because EA Sports has a way of, like, changing up the routes that are really OP year to year. Uh, you could just go through all the years and you'll be able to figure it out. Like, all right, some of these years, it was really, really wild. Um, you know, like a crossing route, the post routes, you know, zigs. Like, certain routes were just really unguardable. Uh, well, this year was the corner route. Uh, everybody that could pick up a controller, like, it, it didn't really matter. An infant, like, whatever. Whoever could hold a controller could roll outside the pocket and throw a corner out. Uh, but people thought that, like, that was very, very skillful. And, um, you know, trying to cover it one-on-one -on -one was really a hassle. So, depending on the kind of corners that you had, the height, uh, the attributes that they had, you know, the zone, man, all that combination, it was still very, very difficult to do it one-on-one. -on -one. What I'm noticing about Crevon, see, this is the thing, right? I gotta actually, I'm, I'm really starting to pick my own brain going into 21 because I know you guys are sitting there like, yo, bro, what is going to be the blueprint? What's going to be happening? They, you guys can't wait. Even a lot of you guys that, um, you know, you just come to the channel to get the tips and leave. You don't really care about anything else. Um, you guys understand that the concepts that I deliver, they usually work. You know what I'm saying? Because like, it's very, very simplistic the way that Madden is. It's just the fact that we have to understand what is actually going on. We have to understand what exactly works. Why does it work? You see what I'm saying? Like there's certain things like that. So when you see these sets with the tight and the rollout, like this guy's a typical idiot that just comes out and just, he just rolls out and throws the corner out, right? Right there, it was obvious that he's gonna do that. So I just went there and picked it. Um, you gotta understand though, if you can't, like if you don't use her to that side, say for instance, you play a complete maniac that does the quick, you know, the quick outs uh, from the inside slots. It could be a nightmare on both sides because now you got to pick and choose. That was a Steve. You should have went back for six with this guy, but it don't really matter though. Um, if they do like those quick outs, you're not going to be able to maintain both sides. So that will generally create a lot of issues for you and you got to figure out which side to guard. Now, coming into Madden 21, some of you guys really believe that the beta is the way the game's going to be. I myself do not believe that the beta is going to be anything like the actual game. Not only because they're going to tune some things that, you know, we gave them as feedback, but just because I don't believe that that's what EA is, like they've never done it like that to where the game is exactly, you know, what the beta is. So when we look at it from that aspect, what route is gonna be OP? Well, let me tell you this, right? If you weren't scoring like 55 points a game with the, with the closed beta, something's wrong, bro. Cause offense was just extra easy. As I just threw a pick to Ryan Shazier, like who puts abilities on Ryan Shazier? This dude is weird, man. Um, but again, when you look at the fact that it was so easy to throw the ball in the beta, I don't think that that's going to be the case either with, you know, Madden 21. Because remember, the cover guy, the cover athlete usually has a lot to do with the way the game's going to be. You know, you, if you're playing Madden 20, you know that it was all about, you know, throwing the ball on crazy angles, running backwards off your back foot, your butt cheeks out, in a G-string, just throwing the ball. You know, EA addressed all of that in their gridiron notes. They looked at it like... I couldn't believe, like, I was reading through the gridiron notes, and they were saying it like, yo, some of these things to the eye were ridiculous. And that's pretty much what I've been saying for a while. So it's good to know that they understand, like, Patrick Mahomes is a goon, and I think he's going to probably be one of the greatest quarterbacks, if not the greatest, if he's able to stay healthy and keep that team around him for the most part. The arm strength and the way he's able to throw the ball off at, you know, at any angle, what, the dude is unbelievable. So I understand what they were trying to do with Madden 20, but everybody was able to do it. So that became a major issue. If you want to think about it according to like what Madden 21 is going to be with Lamar Jackson, just think about Truss, right? You can't fumble the ball once you're in the zone, right? So when you get that, uh, when you uh, activate that X factor, a lot of people are going to be running around, not with Lamar Jackson, but with Michael Vick. Why is that going to be? Because Michael Vick is going to have the, you know, the, the further throw power. He's going to be a stronger arm earlier in the game because for some reason EA Sports doesn't give him, you know, Lamar Jackson doesn't re really get that throw power early in the game. So I'm giving you guys the insight right now because you guys will be able to come back and say, yeah, Jemaya did say that was going to happen. The abilities that they give to the cover athletes, the reason, like, like watch how he plays this corner. You see that? 
Like, usually they're nowhere near the corner route, but he's playing it one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know what I'm doing and why it's happening, but it's working. Um, the cover athlete abilities that go to other players, that's what makes it OP. Because Lamar Jackson is super fast. Yeah, he's going to have trust, and it's going to be crazy, right? And then you're going to be like, all right, he can't throw the ball deep if you get into that situation where everybody's just on the line, ready to rush you because you keep running around and you're making their life a living hell. They're going to try to take away that run. So what do you do then? You're going to have to focus more on throw power. Now, what did they say specifically about throw power? It's going to be relative to the actual attribute more than ever. What does that mean? I don't know. Does that mean that a guy like Drew Brees would be able to throw the ball accurately for two yards like he can in real life? Like the dude's throw power is mad disgusting. Is that going to be a situation? Can they not release the ball properly? Cut corner out again. He's just playing it. I don't know what's going on with the guy. He's a psychopath. This guy, yo, Cravon LeBlanc, bro, the dude's the GOAT. He might get raged so before we go over to Madden 21, but he's the GOAT for now. But listen, though, the major situation behind all of this is just trying to give you guys some food for thought. You guys have to understand, right? These new superstar X Factor abilities and everything, it's not about the cover athlete. It's about the fact that other players are going to be able to use it with the same archetype. So we, we're we going to figure it out early on, you know, what's OP, what's not. But I'm just trying to make sure, like, as I go ahead and dabble in that, we're going to look at everything. Because if zone, like, you see how Kreb all about, he like 5'10". If zone attributes are really overhauled and it really matters, like the way that this guy is playing right now for us at the end of the year, we're going to be in a different focus. Now I can't really always focus on the, the height of the corner. Because, you see, you got to just go and, you know, you got to follow the guidelines in which EA tunes the game and how they patch it and stuff, and you have to adjust. Which is why all of my veterans that are here right now, you guys know I rage sell a player every day once Madden starts, the new Maddens, because EA consistently changes up what's going on. So once I see it, and I do it again, and I do it again, that's something that EA did. Like, it's not something that I'm just making up, and I show it to you. That's why I love the fact that you guys have been out here supporting my gameplays. You, you know, you guys, we're going to give you guys so many more gameplays coming in Madden 21. Hopefully, you guys continue to support it as well, so I can continue to show the proof, because that's what you guys asked for. Jimai, can you show us what you're talking about? You know, shout out to you guys that just wanted to see it, and, you know, we were, you know, people were really watching and seeing and understanding. All right, this is why this guy is raging about this guy. This is why this guy sucks. So, you can see with this right here, he's going to pause the game and do what's right. His goldfish wants to slap box. He's going to go do that. He's going to go ahead and rage quit. And that's what he has to do. And that's fine. We're going to move on and get everything else done that we have to get done. But I'm going to tell you right now, LeBlanc is like, he, he's goatish. Now he is a golden ticket and there are more rare and the prices are crazy, but it's good to know that whatever we figured out right now, it may work at the launch of Madden 21. So if corner routes are happen to be an issue, we'll be able to figure that out together. I want you guys to be safe. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love y'all.